We bought the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT and the Thunderbolt 3 Reseco X eGPU enclosure. Let's unbox, shall we? So what's up guys, Favoria and welcome to Shades of Tech. You might remember that a few months ago we upgraded my 2013 Mac Pro to a maxed out 12 core CPU, 64 gigs of RAM and 1 terabyte SSD. But one of the biggest complaints I had was the weak dual MD Fire Pro D300 GPUs that were a big bottleneck for both video editing and gaming experience. Unluckily, those internal GPUs are not upgraded for both reliability and economic reasons, but there is a good way around to boost our older Mac graphic power. So, yes, you guess it's right, we finally bought the MD Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU and spoiler alert it's pretty gorgeous. In this video we're gonna be unboxing as well as the Razer Core X eGPU enclosure and some USB-C adapters to make it work with both Thunderbolt 3 and Thunderbolt 2 Max. We'll show you the first setup which is really fast and the first impression with some quick tests. But stay tuned on the channel for more in-depth content because we'll be testing it with all range of Macs from iMac to MacBook Pro to Mac Pro for both video editing and gaming experience and performance. So let's start with the unboxing shall we? The first is the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU, which is a mid-tier GPU with the newer Navi 7 nanometer processor, really good for HVAC H.265 video editing and pretty respectable for 2K gaming. Of course we wanted to go AMD because we wanted full compatibility out of the box with our Mac running macOS Catalina, so you can't go wrong with that. Also, Apple recently introduced for the 2019 Mac Pro configuration the Radeon Pro W5700 XT graphic with 16 gigs of DDR6 memory, but this one only has 8, but apart from this, they are the same. So we can expect further and better support for the future for this GPU. So it's really a future-proof card choice to buy in 2020 for macOS. This is the third-party version from XFX and it's the Thick Ultra Mark III, which has three big fans and is thick as the name suggests. For a few bucks more, it seems a really good compromise, probably useless since this eGPU we'll see in a few minutes as it's the dedicated fan, but it will definitely handle better the thermal underload. Opening the cardboard box with AMD logos, we have a simple box where the GPU sits well blocked and protected by soft materials and wrapped in plastic. We have included in the box some power cables that are really useful if you are building a PC, but in our case we'll use the eGPU cables. Regardless, it's nice they included them in the box. As you can see, it's literally very thick with the three fans on top and a beefy heat sink below that will have a lot under load to dissipate heat. From my usage, I found those very, very silent and I love them, but the eGPU enclosure is a little bit noisy for me. The GPU is well protected with plastic adhesive and I love the matte black finish and the silver highlight. Next, we have the Razer Core X eGPU enclosure with USB Type-C. We choose it because it supports both Windows and macOS and has a 650 watt power supply that can feed even the more power hungry GPUs like this 5700 XT. And also the price is great for the value with very high build quality. The box is massive, it doesn't even fit well in the shot, but it's also very boring, just cardboard. I would have loved more a gaming feeling, but it's just a box after all. This eGPU enclosure is packed even better than the GPU itself, so you have basically zero chance of damaging during transport. Once you open the box, there is a black box with cables and beneath there is the eGPU enclosure itself. There are some paperwork and some nice Razer stickers, this is what I meant for gaming experience. There is, of course, the power cable included, but also an USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 cable as well. And this is very nice, but unfortunately it's super short. 
it may be done on purpose to have the best performance with a very short cable but it's not that great so I will suggest you to get at least one meter Thunderbolt 3 cable you lose maybe a few FPS but it's definitely better to organize your setup the Razer Core X comes out with two big foam distancer that protect it I love the Razer logo on the Airvane grille also the plastic wrapping is very high quality and soft material I love it side note the matte black metallic enclosure is gorgeous but it's a fingerprint magnet as well On the back we have the power plug, the USB-C port and the on and off switch. There's also a lever and if you rotate it with a fluid movement you can open the enclosure to place the GPU inside. Again an internal foam protector that is also useful to measure the clearance of GPU is placed and protects the internal part of the GPU. As you can see the interior is well cable organized and pre-routed with all the power plugs you will need in the right place. I think it makes the overall experience very neat. And now you just need to remove the PCIe protector, remove the IO shield on the enclosure with one screw and sit it in place. Then fix it with the same screw and connect the power cables. But it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. It's true, baby let the light shine through. If you believe Then slide back and close. But now you are all eager to see how well does it work. Well, it works very well. For this first impression, we decided to go for the 2016 13 inch MacBook Pro because it doesn't even have a dedicated graphic and it already has Thunderbolt 3 port, so it's just plug and play for us. But if your Mac has a Thunderbolt 2 or 1, don't worry, even if Apple doesn't officially support this eGPU thing anymore, it used to. And there's a simple script that tricks the system into thinking that the Mac has Thunderbolt 3, which is called Purge Wrangler. And you will need Apple super expensive Thunderbolt 3 to Thunderbolt 2 adapter and the Thunderbolt 2 cable. I don't want to go too much into details because there are other YouTubers that explained it even better than I could do. So if you have any question about this, please leave a comment. The system works flawlessly. I've been using for a month now on my 2013 Mac Pro and it's night and day difference for me. Really great. And also I haven't seen any performance loss with the Thunderbolt 2 20 gigabit per second in place of the 40 of the Thunderbolt 3 so no bottlenecks so far for me it's a win-win anyway with the Thunderbolt 3 enabled Mac you just have to plug and to run and it will be automatically recognized by Mac OS Catalina in the upper right menu to have the best monitor experience you want to connect your external display directly into the eGPU and so we did with the 4K display the LG 27UK 850W and uh, we ran some before and after Unigine event test I don't want to comment, I think the numbers told for themselves and I will make many in-depth videos about that for both gaming and video editing experience but now I can literally game on a Mac so this was my unboxing of the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU and the Thunderbolt 3 Razer Core X GPU enclosure. So thanks so much for watching me so far. Be sure to like or dislike this video, comment and subscribe. And as always, stay tuned on Shades of Tech. Ciao!